Hi, I'm John Cantley from Sega Pan Magazine. Welcome to our video tips. If you need help, you've come to the right place. We're always reviewing and tipping the latest titles. We selected these games because they're the ones we're getting the most letters about from our readers asking for help. And these are the hottest titles around now. Look at the video box for the counter number you need to fast forward to the game you want tips on. There's loads of information packed in, so you'll want to watch it through more than once. Have fun, go for it. Okay, there's two things you can do to make your missions easier in this explosive title. First thing is to get yourself a decent turbo joystick, the game's actually designed to be used with one, and the next is to enter a password code to give yourself two extra lives. Still, if you're feeling really hard done by, just punch in B Q Q Q A E Z to start the game with ten Apaches, enter the code, exit to the main menu, and go for it. Extra lives. There's loads to be found in later levels, but just the one in the first mission. You'll find it in the southeastern part of the map. You'll find a downed F-15 Tomcat in the northwest corner. In the next level, it's worth an extra life, but you'll get this time around as a pilot who needs rescuing. Right in the middle of the map is where you'll locate the speed winch. There's an attack sequence that works every time on the airports. The air defense is heavy, so come in from the south and blast the first rapier you come across with a single hellfire. Then circulate round the perimeters using clusters of hydras to waste anti-aircraft emplacements. Now just pick up the main man from the lower of the two HQs to reveal the whereabouts of your spy. Fly northwest, drop off your co pilot, blow up the surrounding weaponry, and before you know it, you're on to level two. In the northeast of the map, you'll find another crashed F 15 Tomcat. This one's got an extra life, and Jake, the best co pilot there. The speed winch this time is located in the white building to the west. The power station can pose problems on this level, simply because there's a huge number of small targets instead of just a few big ones. First, check the state of your armor, and then get stuck in with all guns blazing. The rest is all basic gameplay in level two. Just follow the missions as they come and you can't go too wrong. This is a start code for level three that'll see you starting with Jake well and intact. Start by rescuing the TV crew from the besieged city center. Drop them off by their studio, but remember to take out the snipers before you land. Still, just fly around and extract your revenge. The extra life's down south under a sand dune, but be careful, get the wrong dune and you're in for a nasty surprise. Luckily, Jake's really accurate on the guns, just make sure you're quick enough to stop the ICBMs. There's only one radar installation in the third level. It's just below the main HQ to the north, and it's really easy to knock out. This will make life much easier. The speed winch is in the city center. Grab it fast before unwanted company arrives. When trying to locate the precise area of missile silos on the beach, use your chain gun as a feeler. You'll know you've hit the right dune when the gun noise gets harsh and nasty. Just keep firing. The Madman's Yacht is your first encounter with enemy helicopters. Use four Hydras and two Hellfires to guarantee their death, then blast the yacht open with your gun. Get as close to the yacht as possible to rescue the hostages, and don't bother chasing the Madman because you can't touch him. As soon as you're full, fly off to base, but come back real quick as the hostages can't last long in that water. The Embassy Rescue is dead simple. Just maneuver behind all the helicopters to blast them, then blow down the gate to the embassy to get the bus moving. 
Now just keep ahead of the bus to destroy tanks and obstacles before they get to it, and you shouldn't have too many problems. Blast down the barriers to keep the bus moving, and then open the bridge over the ditch by wasting the sentry box next to it. After that, rocket launchers will come straight for you, so stay alert and get them as quickly as possible. You'll start to run out of fuel by the end of your mercy run. There's a full canister waiting just down by the aircraft, as is your co-pilot Jake who is driving the bus. Pick him up and it's all over. The final level. You've made it. Remember, you can boot up your lives by entering either of the cheat codes and get to it. There's two radar sites in this level, one to the northwest and the other directly north from that one. Pound the defences and grab the ammo. There's an absolute deluge of extra lives in level 4. The first one's in the northern sector of the main city section, and the second's directly below that in amongst the snipers and garbage trucks. And don't forget, never blast a garbage truck until you know exactly what it's got in the back, otherwise it's game over. The third and final extra life is in the top half of the northern city sector. Draw the enemy's missiles to make them blast a building, but remember to get the hell out of their way when they have. Okay, you've lost your way through to the end, and it's the final showdown with General Kilbarba's nuclear bomber. Make sure you're well stocked with weapons, then use your guns to destroy the enemy without hitting your captured co-pilot. Next, use your guns and hydras to blast a hole in the side of the plane. Stop as soon as the hole appears, then manoeuvre the chopper as close as you can to rescue your co-pilot. Now blast the tanks moving in for the kill and start on the airplane. Remember, it takes 3,000 points of damage, so use everything you've got and stock up on the weapons next to the airfield. Main thing is not to panic, you've got more time than you think. Now get to it.